Hello, hello folks, I'm Raido Boost again and here to make a short video about AutoCAD Civil 3D 2018 that came out in April 2017. This video mainly focuses on installation of AutoCAD Civil 3D 2018 and its first run. But before you can actually start with an installation, you do need to get those installation files. And for example, you can use Autodesk website, autodesk.com or your Autodesk Manage account, if you are already subscriber to Autodesk. I'm continuing from Autodesk main site, meaning autodesk.com, and I'm adding slash civil 3D and hit enter. In that way, I can quickly navigate to AutoCAD Civil 3D product page, and from the top menu, I can find free trial. And now I'm able to sign in using my regular Autodesk account, and it doesn't have to be paid account, it can be any account, but you need to sign in to be able to download those installation files. Let's sign in. I hit sign in using my Autodesk account, email and password. I'm ready to see a button, begin download. I can pick also language version, I stick to English. Before I actually click on begin download, I quickly want to point out that uh, you can also download all those files beforehand and then you can start an installation using Download Manager. This option is definitely recommended when you want to install AutoCAD Civil 3D into multiple machines. Right now, I'm using Begin Download option. It means that actually during installation, all needed files are downloaded. So it means that during installation, I do need to have good internet connection as well. I hit Begin Download. I can choose Country of Residence. I need to accept license terms and then I can hit continue. I then select to where to put this first installation file. I typically use desktop save. Once it has been downloaded, you can quickly run this exe file and during this step, some additional files will be downloaded, but not yet the full package. Of course, I can minimize my browser window and in here I can see setup screen and also a notification that additional files are currently downloaded. Once the first installation package is downloaded, you should be able to see the following screen. And from here, you can actually go directly to install Civil 3D or before you can also check install tools and utilities. Let's do that first. So I click on install tools and utilities. For example, from here, I can quickly install Civil 3D object enabler. This is mainly needed in those cases when you want to use other Autodesk software packages like Navis Works or maybe AutoCAD. And if you want to see Civil 3D objects, you need to have that object enabler installed. Also, if you plan to use your Civil 3D in network environment using network license, then you need to have network license manager, but only in a server. And if you want to gather more information how Autodesk products are used, you can also install Autodesk CAD manager tools. Right now I'm skipping all those here and I hit back button. Before I go forward, I also want to point out those grayed out items down below. For example, installation help, system requirements and readme. Before you actually start installation, it's always good to check what are system requirements. For example, if I click on system requirements, my browser window opens and from here I can quickly navigate to system requirements for AutoCAD Civil 3D 2018. If I scroll down a bit, I can see that actually Civil 3D works only in 64-bit environment. And of course, I can see which windows I need to have. So I close this tab and go back to my installation screen. Let's move on. So I hit the install button. I then read license and services agreement. Need to accept those and hit next again. And now I can see which components or 
software I can install with Civil 3D because I have installed previously AutoCAD 2018 separately. This included Autodesk Recap and also a 360 desktop update. But if you don't have installed those beforehand, A360 Desktop is your gateway to Autodesk web services. For example, it's a kind of cloud drive to where you can pack up your drawing files and start also collaboration like sharing comments and so on. Autodesk Recap is a kind of point cloud software package. You can manipulate point cloud data and then prepare those for different other packages like Autocad Civil 3D or Autodesk Revit. I mainly focus on Autocad Civil 3D 2018 itself. I can also see a yellow mark here and it clearly notes me that I have already AutoCAD 2018 present and it means that my AutoCAD Civil 3D will be installed to that location as well. So just an indication. If I left click on this AutoCAD Civil 3D, I can see additional components that can be installed with Civil 3D together. For example, if you tend to analyze storm and sanitary pipelines, you are definitely interested about Autodesk storm and sanitary analysis package. So I select it from here. If you are experienced engineer, you want to design your own sub-assemblies, meaning that if you are designing roads, trenches, and you want to change what the road cross-section will be, then you can use sub-assembly composer. By the way, those components can be installed later on as well, so you don't have to pick up those straight away if you don't want to do that. I scroll down, installation type, I leave it on typical and definitely I want to have also express tools but if I click on custom I can deselect some components I really don't need to but this time I will leave all on and this typical selection includes all those as well. I move on to select content in here you can select for example if you want to have a separate desktop icon for AutoCAD because I actually have already AutoCAD installed so it doesn't make really sense to have it again but uh, typically I just do want to point out that uh, it's good to go with a yes selection then you have easy way to open up Civil 3D as AutoCAD with AutoCAD tools only. I can select also which content in terms of region I want to install like Imperial and Metric and I can then select if I want to have a desktop shortcut. I leave both on. It's up to you. If you don't use some specific content then you can deselect it depending on region you live. And also it's possible to configure some folders, but I leave those to default values. I then do a left click again on Civil 3D and I can move on. Of course, I can change installation path. I leave it to default, meaning that I install to C drive, program files and Autodesk. And from the right hand side, I can see how much disk space I should have to install AutoCAD Civil 3D. But please pay attention to that depending on your selections, this number may be much larger or smaller. So right now I'm installing just Civil 3D. Now I can go on and click install. And in this screen, I'm already seeing that my AutoCAD Civil 3D will be installed. But of course, it's not just about Civil 3D, but uh, all other components that are needed. And some components are specific to your Windows version. So that is why I can see that I'm installing DirectX and uh, some other Microsoft components. But altogether, I can see that uh, I have 17 components to be installed. Again, this really depends on what you selected uh, beforehand. This number is not fixed. You may have it uh, smaller or larger. And because I started my installation from the web, it means that based on my selections, now additional files will be downloaded. And from here I can see that in my case it's about 4 gigabytes additional data should be downloaded. By the end, this first number, 14, should go to 0. And then I should see that my AutoCAD Civil 3D was successfully installed. So let's wait a bit. Once installation is finished, you should see if all selected products were successfully installed. In such cases, you should see a green mark. So in my case, all went well. 
and I can either click on launch now button, it will fire up Civil 3D straight away, or I can close this dialog and concentrate onto my desktop. For example, on my desktop, you can also see that I do have different icons to fire up Civil 3D metric version, Civil 3D imperial version, and Civil 3D as AutoCAD only. So I close this dialog using Red Cross, and then I double click on Civil 3D 2018 metric. If this is my first AutoCAD 2018 based product, I may get a notification that do I want to associate my DWG files with this version, because currently I'm having also 2017 installed. I simply don't want to make that switch yet, and I can do that also later if I want to. So I pick to not associate, but once again it's up to you. My Civil 3D 2018 loads, I may get a screen that recommends me to sign in. Let's do that, also password. Because I installed a trial version, I get also notification how many days are left in my trial. I can safely use my AutoCAD in trial mode and at any time do a switch to subscribe version, meaning that I do need to have a license key to be able to do that. Right now, I just close it. So here we are. AutoCAD Civil 3D 2018 is successfully installed. And when you have been a previous version of AutoCAD Civil 3D, not so much different in terms of user interface, yes. But for example, if I try to save my drawing, I can clearly see that this version 2018 introduced new DWG version as well. Be careful when you save your drawings because those are not Packward compatible. Because if you save your drawing in 2018 format and would like to share it with Civil 3D, let's say 2017 user, you need to resave it first. I hit cancel. If you are a new user, then you can go to start tab and from here you can hit the learn button from left hand side or down below. If I do that, I can see different getting started videos. I go back to create tab and from here I can start new drawings or open up some previous drawings as well. If I just minimize my AutoCAD Civil 3D, I can see that in addition I have Autodesk Storm and Sanitary Analysis 2018, so it's a separate package that can be used for storm and sanitary pipe analysis. And I also have my installation files in here. I can safely move those away. I don't want to delete those because if I want to reinstall the product, I still have my files. So I just move those two files into my C drive Autodesk. And in here, I can see my default location to where Civil 3D installation files were downloaded. So I just control V to include those here as well. I can safely move all those files to portable drive. No problem there. Just to make some more space in my main drive. So here we go. This video was about AutoCAD Civil 3D 2018 installation and first run. I can only say that happy testing. Bye bye.